ESC Congress 2022, we presented the European guidelines for cardiovascular assessment and management of patients undergoing non-cardiac surgery. And we think it's a very important guideline because we know that uh, every year more than 4 million people die postoperatively, making postoperative deaths one of the most frequent causes of death. And uh, we need to improve the care of these patients in order to reduce this number. And in these guidelines, we have presented a new algorithm for uh, preoperative assessment of these patients, which is quite simple and can be used uh, everywhere. And what we recommend is to take an ECG and biomarkers in all patients with uh, known CVD and also in all uh, people above the age of 65 undergoing intermediate or uh, high-risk surgery. And for biomarkers, uh, we prefer troponins because it can be useful also uh, for uh, postoperative detection of uh, myocardial injuries. But um, BNP is also very useful for risk stratification. So BNP can also be used. And this combination of ECG and biomarkers, uh, if we also add uh, the uh, estimation of functional capacity, we can predict very well uh, those patients that will uh, have an increased risk of uh, uh, postoperative complications. And in these patients, uh, we need to, um, to try to reduce the risk as much as we can. And we have new recommendations now uh, for, in for uh, risk reduction. For instance, uh, uh, stopping smoking at least four uh, weeks before surgery. That has uh, been shown to reduce the risk of mortality. And it's also recommended to treat uh, risk factors optimally before surgery and also uh, known CVD uh, to treat uh, CVD optimally so you are in a stable condition before surgery. And finally, even if we try to treat these patients as good as possible, we know that there will be some postoperative complications and we also highlight the need for early detection of these uh, postoperative complications and uh, treatment of them. That's why we recommend in our guidelines to increase awareness about the postoperative complications in patients undergoing particularly intermediate or high-risk non-cardiac surgery. It is important the surveillance of um, perioperative myocardial injury in this patient, which is based on the serial measurement of high sensitivity troponin. Not for all patients undergoing non cardiac surgery, but for the one undergoing intermediate or high risk non cardiac surgery. Based on this, we can detect very early the perioperative myocardial injury, which in 90% of the patient today is overlooked just because. These patients are, due to painkillers, are pain-free. So it is not easy to detect if we do not do serial measurement of biomarkers. And we recommend also in our guidelines to, to have um, a systematic workup for perioperative myocardial injury is in a stepwise approach, particularly combination of biomarker assessment and ECG and echocardiography. In case a STEMI or non-STEMI is happening perioperatively, peri the treatment of this patient should follow the guidelines for treatment of acute coronary syndrome patients which do not uh, have non-cardiac surgery. For sure, the decision will be a, a decision in combination with the surgeons, anesthetists, and cardiologists together. So it's a common work of different disciplines to protect our patients from this kind of dangerous complications.